So Bob looked into the face of war, and he knew that the horror of it could never be really washed away by belly laughter. And he told us what he felt. I've seen some great acts of achievement in the past few years. A GI in New Guinea, the kid in the Aleutians. I saw a boy in a hospital in Espirito Santos lying in a bed, taking on a quart of blood plasma. This skinny American hero looked up, smiled, said, it feels good. Two hours later, they told us that boy died. And there's Salerno and Saipan, a North African Guadalcanal. And aircraft carriers that went down dragging battleships and destroyers and Nazi subs and planes along with them. Little jungle clearings and road crossings and creeks and rivers without names. The achievement of capturing those places took more than perseverance and intelligence. It took blood and missing limbs and blinded eyes and shattered nerves and ruined lives. And in this show, the biggest show of them all, the manager doesn't have to hang out the standing room only sign because, mister, when this show is over, some of the audience won't be standing. So we've been throughout Alaska and Africa and the Mediterranean and all over the Pacific to all those places where no kid would be if our country wasn't fighting for its life. I'd like to thank every kid in uniform for the honor of working for him. War, that strange democracy of misery, created a comradeship between men unknown in times of peace. And slowly, painfully, the relationship between comedian and soldier took root, a bond of understanding which has never been broken. <laughs> 